Welcome to a Latin affiliated entertainment news. Today we're going to jump right into it. We're going to talk about Billboard releasing their list for the top 100 best hip hop albums of all time. And I want to talk about the Latinos that made the list. So congratulations to Cypress Hill. They came in at number 76 on the Billboard's best rap albums of all time. You can read more about it at latinaffiliated.vip right here. And what Billboard said was, sometimes Cypress Hill's discography can be unfairly flattened to just their frat party classics, insane in the brain, hits from the bong. But listening to any of their first four records in full cements, why the group remains a uniquely rubber part of LA story rap history. In some ways, their buckwild approach to collaborative rap makes them an answer to Beastie Boys or Wu-Tang Clan, but they also provided a bridge from the early days of gangster rap into a new phase of West Coast rap, one that could be vivid and violent, but also playful, such as from Hole in the Head, How I Could Just Kill a Man, written by GR from the Billboard staff. And if you go to wikipedia.com or also just check out the article at latinaffiliated.vip, Wikipedia does give information about the album. The album was a self-titled album. It was their debut album titled Cypress Hill. It dropped in 1991. So kudos to Cypress Hill for making the list. Other Latinos that made it include Big Pun, if you are a little bit younger, you may not be too familiar with Big Pun, but he had the hit Don't Wanna Be A Player No More with Joe. That was such a bop back in the day. And Big Pun was actually the first Latino rapper to go platinum, which is a huge deal for Latinos. He came in at number 48 on the list. And we do have a female that made it as well. Cardi B's album Invasion of Privacy came in at number 29 which debuted at number one on the Billboard 200, making Cardi the fifth female rapper to chop the chart. And I also wanted to include Tupac because his album, All Eyes On Me, made it to number six on the list. And if you are familiar with the album, you can look at who produced it. It was 80% produced by Johnny Jackson, who is a Latino producer. Johnny Jackson was adopted and a lot of people know him as Johnny J. He was actually born in Mexico. So congratulations to all the Latinos that made Billboard's list of the best hip hop albums of all time. The next story is Fuerza Regida. They're announcing their new album with pop-up murals and saying this is the album they've invested the mo most in. J.O.P. tells the story behind the marketing of Pero No de Enamoros out July 25th. Mexican music powerhouse Fuerza Regida has always delighted in coming up with unexpected stunts to promote their music and shows from an impromptu concert on the 210 freeway near Los Angeles to a performance alongside street musicians on the Tijuana border. This past April, when the band announced its current 37-date arena tour, Pero No Te Enamores, the drum beat started with the band wearing jerseys emblazoned with the number 12 and with a recurring logo with a heart with a line drawn over it, popping up in Fuerza's social media posts. On April 12th, that, that is the connection apparently, the band announced their tour and also unveiled a mural on, of the crossed out heart painted on the black wall of a liquor store in San Bernardino, California, the city where Jesus Ortiz Paz, better known as J.O.P., grew up. It's a liquor store where my father goes to buy his beer, said J.O.P. I went and asked the owner and he said yes, como si nada. Engagement on social media following the mural unveiling was so high that J.O.P. started toying with the idea of expanding the concept for other major announcements. Fast forward to today, when the band has unveiled 15 murals in six cities, Miami, Phoenix, Chicago, LA, New York, and San Bernardino, of course, to announce their upcoming new album, also titled Pero No Te Enamores, 
which translates to, but don't fall in love. Like the original mural in San Bernardino, which has been retouched for the occasion, the murals feature a giant crossed out heart drawn inside a circle, similar to a traffic signal with the album's release date, July 25th, and a parental warning on the side, all against a black backdrop. It's a heart with the not allowed zone, the no love zone, laughs J.O.P. speaking to Billboard about his marketing strategy. They'll see the murals and say shit has an album and it has no love. That, he adds, is the whole theme of the upcoming set. Don't fall in love. I want to say, don't feel comfortable where you are in life. If you have a job, don't fall in love with that. Want more? Don't fall in love with the drug you're addicted to or with whatever it is. While G J.O.P. wouldn't provide details on the album itself, he says it will be radically different from anything the group has done before. It's not your typical Mexican music album with guitar, Tolo Loche. We're getting into something different, something new, something risky. That's why we took our time to really market this. We invested money, says J.O.P. Noting this is the album we've invested the most money on in marketing, producing, and making it. This week's mural will go up in tandem with Spotify supported billboards in Los Angeles and Mexico that will, re will reveal a snippet of lyrics to one of the album's songs. Interestingly, this is the first time Fuerza tries this out of the box stunts far from California. Prior to these efforts, the group, which made history by becoming the first Latino band to top billboards, top artist duo group year-end chart in 2023, had amplified its actions on social media, but never actually done marketing actions on the group in other cities to promote their music. But in February, after the group released the EP Dolido Pero No Arrepentido, they managed to play seven songs in the top 10 on Apple's Latin Top Songs chart. I never imagined achieving that, said J.O.P. Is always, it was always one or two. When I saw seven up there, I was happy, but I also said, oh shit, I have to do something different. Beyond the murals, a crazy album release party is also in the works, along with lots of crazy shit that should shift Farsa's stunt meter into high gear. We really push this album to the max, says J.O.P. But what I really like about these murals is we put them in the mom and pop owned businesses by regular people. And as soon as this rolls out, our fans are gonna come and look at them and bring business to this people. So there you have it. Forza Regida is ready to drop a new album with new sounds. So we're looking forward to that. And last but not least, I want to give a shout out to Westmont Scheme, who was just picked up by OTR Records, the infamous record label that is slowly building a really great catalog alongside Lefty Gunplay and other major artists that are on the rise in the LA area. So Westmont Scheme, if you haven't seen him, he has been on Latin Affiliated Entertainment shows. He's been on our Summer After Hours show. He's been on our live streams go find him on our channel and go follow him on social media give him a big congratulations so shout out to westmont scheme for joining otr records that's a huge accomplishment and we're so excited for his future in the music industry and in bonus news as i was wrapping up this news episode I went to Instagram and OTR Records has picked up another artist, Bozo. Go check out his Instagram now. Big shout out, congratulations to Bozo and also Scheme, as I just mentioned. Both of these rappers are very talented. We have interviews with both of them. Bozo, go check out his interview on YouTube on a, right here on this channel and go send a congratulations. Big shout out to OTR Records for recognizing all of this Latino talent. And man, the OTR Records, they're really on top of things. So we'll see what other artists are on their radar and what other artists will OTR Records possibly pick up. Stay tuned, guys. Please support this channel by liking this video, subscribing, becoming a member, or sharing it. Also comment where you're watching from and let me know if you want to see more entertainment news just like this brought to you by your girl Angie Smalls. That's all for today guys. Catch you in the next